Hey guys, today we're looking at how to train when you're by yourself. Uh, this happens a lot with goalkeepers. Uh, sometimes you just can't get those people out there to take shots on you, or sometimes you just can't get a coach out there to watch you or to coach you through a good practice. Uh, the first thing that I always do to start out is sit-ups. Uh, the goalkeeper needs to worry about his abs. Uh, your core strength is where much of your strength for diving, landing, and getting up quickly is going to come from. So for a goalkeeper to be strong and ready to get up after every shot and after every save as quick as possible, they need to be able to do a good amount of ab work. So to always make sure I'm working on my ball control, I like to throw the ball up with my own feet, catch it, and then do a kind of sit up position again. It lets you work on your ball control and lets you practice keeping your eye on the ball and actually paying attention to getting your hands on top of the ball and behind it. As we said earlier, we want to work on our abs. So I like to put the ball in between my legs, first starting at my ankles and do a small quick crunch. You want to do it as fast as possible until you cannot go anymore. Then you're going to go and progress on to the next level. You're going to put it, the ball in between your feet and you're going to do a little bit of a higher crunch and really start reaching for the ball. You want to start tapping the ball. After that step, you're going to put the ball at the highest part that you can or the highest reach and really reach up there. You should be trying to lift your whole body to get there. If you cramp up, get up and stretch out your abs and get down there and do it again. So after we finish with our ab work and just making sure that our abs are in pain, we want to work on our diving. Diving quickly and getting up quickly and just going in with a lot of intensity is very, very essential for a goalkeeper. In goalkeeper practice, when co a goalkeeper coaches are looking at the keeper, they want to be making sure that the keeper is putting 100% power and energy into his dives and overall getting up. So make sure that you're doing this as fast as possible and with 100% heart and energy. And always remember the good techniques of diving. That means that you're diving forward and you're pushing through the ball and landing on your lats. Always make sure that you're pushing through the ball. If you're having issues with the forward dive or you just want to continue on with this drill, you can use the same type of five balls in a line or six balls in a line and actually follow up with a forward dive just dive into each and every ball. Again, it's gonna do a lot of work with shuffling and getting your legs strong, and it's also gonna help your technique on getting used to the mu muscle memory of a forward dive. When you are diving in this drill, you wanna make sure that you're switching each side and you're switching each foot you're lunging into. In the forward dive, you always step into your uh, dive just like a power step in a normal dive so make sure that you're doing a right footed power step and a left footed power step just to make sure that you're ready to do it in any situation the same thing goes for the dives in the earlier drill if you're doing a low dive you want to make sure you're practicing both sides because you never know which ball is coming to your left and which ball is coming to your right before it's too late and to finish the session with a good strong bang and a really fun drill, set up four cones in a diamond formation and put two balls on top of those cones in two separate areas. What you want to do is shuffle in between all of those cones and get to the soccer ball. Have someone yell or tell yourself where you're about to when you're about to dive which side to go at when you finally reach the green cone or the cone that's on the top. The main thing you want to focus in these drills is shuffling very quickly and getting down low and going as fast as possible. You want to be able to shuffle, switch sides, and make the dive as soon as possible because shuffling is the only way you're going to get to the soccer ball. If you shuffle well, you're going to be able to control much more. So these are just a few of the drills that you can do when you're by yourself or when you're not able to get a coach or a player to take some shots on you. Uh, just have some creativity. You can do anything as long as you're shuffling and making sure you're diving forward. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Tune in soon for more videos. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like the video, please click like. Thank you guys again so much, and I'll see you guys again very soon.